Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time, welcome, I'm Zach, and today we're going to be breaking down a beat I made with free plugins. Alright, so starting off the main melody here, uh, it's actually pretty simple, although it may look like it's a lot. Uh, we're just using three chords here. So we're using first a B major 7 chord, but I move the uh, D sharp up an octave and I move the B down an octave. And then it goes into a F sharp suspended 4 chord. And then the final chord here, which is the last one, is a, I think it's just an E major, but I didn't use the uh, B. So it's just E and G sharp, and then also G sharp uh, further up an octave, or two octaves from this one. And for the notes here in the center, <clears throat> it's also like pretty simple. Uh, really, I'm just taking like the same chord, and it's just kind of like an arpeggio, so I'm just kind of moving it into the uh, main chord here. And I do the same for the suspended chord as well, except like this note would be just the B, but I don't include it here, just to kind of switch it up a bit. Also, I forgot to mention the plugin I'm using here is Vintage Keys from Spitfire Audio Labs. It's free and it's like a really high quality Rhodes plugin so if you don't have one already I'd recommend you get it and use it. It's very good. So moving on to the next section here. Uh, these are just gonna be like some things I use to fill in the track more and just give it some more character. So I'll start with the simple stuff here. So I'm just using same chords that are in the melody and this is the same uh, Rhodes I'm using in the melody. So it's like this. And I just kind of use it there to just add some more like character, give it a little, little bit more life so you can hear it the whole thing here. And it's also a B major chord and a F sharp suspended chord. All right, so moving on to the next set of keys here, uh, I just have a melody here that kind of descends along with the uh, main melody because the roads in the main melody, uh, they switch the chord around here. So it just kind of follows along with it, and that sounds like this. And then I just kind of switch it up for the next one as well. And then here, because uh, this one, there's like three different pianos on this one, so I just made it like two octaves, so it sounds like this here. All right, and for the final piano here, I used Lab Soft Piano, I believe. And I just had to consolidate it into a wave track so I could do the uh, automation clips here. But uh, this one just sounds like this. And it just kind of comes in right when like the chord changes. So it sounds like all together, it sounds like this. Yeah. All right, so moving on to the mixing, there actually isn't too much. So for these keys here, I used a wider, which is free plugin. I think it's from, uh, where is it? Yeah, Infected Mushroom Polyverse. It's a wider, pretty good plugin, free. And then for the felted piano here, I used just stock fruity reverb. Uh, but the main mixing is going to be on the uh, roads here. So for that, I used a compressor. I used the vintage preset. And then just to kind of get the like wobble and pan that like a lot of a lot of roads kind of have like the wobble and pan and this one like I don't know if I couldn't find it in the settings or not but just kind of kind of emulate it I used gross beat and I used the uh, tremolo fast and I put the mix level down to about 30% and then I also used fruity panomatic and then also I think I boosted or no cut the highs with the uh, EQ and a little bit of the lows as well all right and moving on to the bass here really simple just following the root note and for this section here, I just decided to switch it up a little bit. And on the first bar, there's no bass. And then moving on to the second bar, the bass comes in. And then I also used a different second Ramina uh, too, just to like kind of give the uh, sort of like a slide, I guess, because this plugin doesn't have slide for some reason. But it's a really nice sounding bass. I like it. It's also not free. Sorry, it's the only one I use that isn't free. I just couldn't find a bass sound that like I felt fit perfectly here. But yeah, it slides up and then it goes into the upper octave instead of going down. All right, and for the mixing on the bass, pretty simple. Just use some sound goodizer just to make it louder. 
and then I put a limiter on it as well because it's side chain to the kick and then an EQ to cut out the highs. I also made it mono too, just in case. Sometimes it like sometimes the bass will like kind of be wobbly moving like left and right. So just to make sure I set it to mono. All right, and moving on to the drums here, they're also really simple. It's a really common drum pattern. You'll pretty much see it all the time in lo-fi. Uh, but the only thing I added just a little unique is the snare here. So it sounds like this. Yeah, that's neat. Gives it a bit more character. And then the drum loop or the hi hat loop here is from the Chill Lo Fi Drums kit from uh, Mondo Loops. Also, the drum mixing, too. I forgot about that. Uh, it's pretty simple. The hi hats, I just put Cymatic Origin on. And then the kick, a little bit of Sound Goodizer, and I EQ'd out the highs. All right, and moving on to the last thing here the pads. I think I used Labs Arctic Swells. Yeah, Arctic Swells Decay, also free. And it sounds like this. Yeah, and I'm really just using them here to fill in some more space. And it sounds really nice too when all the pianos come in here. As for the mixing on that, uh, it's also pretty simple. Here we go. So I'm just using Valhalla Supermassive on default. And I use Finisher Micro just to get it to pan from like left to right. And I also use EQ to cut out the highs and then lower the lows a little bit. All right, well, uh, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope the video was helpful. Maybe you might have learned something new or might have found something that you might want to try in your own music. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know all that stuff. And have a good day.